Hi, I'm Luciano, and welcome to the Adventures of Lollipop Man. As we approach the end of this series, we are going to final our rig by setting up the layers in a way that's actually useful. We're going to modify the shapes of the controllers so they fit the character a little bit better, don't get in the way so much, and we're going to fix the coloring as well of the rig, and that's it. We can call this a done rig. So yeah, let's pick it up where we left last time and let's get on to it. Here is my scene, uh, as you see with the animation that I had done. I uh, hope you like that. I'm going to go to layout. I'm going to get away from the character a little bit. I'm going to hide the cinematography stuff because I don't need it. Select my rig. Uh, I don't care about the animation. You can stay there. Uh, uh, all I want now is my meta rig. And I want to explain a few things about the rig. I'm going to show you all the layers that we have right now. And, and so we have a few issues here that I, I like to deal with uh, beforehand, uh, before creation of the rig. First of all, something that's really clever about Rigify is that the bone groups, they've changed the color for the active bone and for the selected ones that are not the active ones. And they've unified them by default in in the entire rig and then you get one color no matter what controller you select for the active and the one and one for the selected but they're not active the only thing that they didn't think about is that the active one really is so similar to the selected ones that are not active that it's actually really hard to tell which one is the active. And so that's something that we're going to fix in the meta rig, because if we do it in the meta rig, then I can save the meta rig, apply it to another character, and it will still stay. Another issue is that the layers, the setup of the layers that they have, there's too many. It's too convoluted. We have two tweaks for the legs, two tweaks for the arms, tweaks for the fingers, tweaks for the torso, face primary, secondary, and, and something, something. And if you look at the face, for instance, let's, let's just take a hard close look. The face controllers by default really are useless. Like honestly, you only need these ones, this one, and the eyelids and, and uh, the basic of the eyebrows to give a general expression. But why do I want to see the teeth at this point? Why do I want this at this point? Why do you even want the ears? Like it's not like anybody I think would touch the ears on a blocking stage. So you need to think of it as stages. You're gonna go from general to particular. And I think most animators try to go from the major uh, part of the pose and the general silhouette, the general idea of the shot towards the little details because to change stuff becomes super complicated. And so let's go to the second. Then you get the face primary. Yeah, the face primary sounds kind of accurate. This one is like really not that important there. That should probably go here in the secondaries. And the secondaries, this is fine. This is this is completely fine. So we're going to make sure that face primary and face are going to be the one layer. And face secondary, it's going to be a tweak. Then this is fine. This guy here, they we need to fix these shapes so they're a little bit more user-friendly, I would say. The neck is humongous controller we don't need something so big the head it needs to be kind of like this one like a square that covers the head so it's easy to pick it up then the torso the torso here um is great because we have this ikfk which is both at the same time i really like it because it lets you work with fk to do the main motions say yeah you get that right so you get to do the main things in fk how they they're supposed to work but then if you need to you can still use your ik to do tweaks and stuff like that so it's 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 really really nice and then you get this one and then you get that one which is a little bit more located there in the in the bottom part as you can see this one works like that and then you get this one that pivots from there from the middle so it's good stuff but we what we need to do is these ones call them uh put them in the torso because they work so seamlessly together that you don't need to be switching them from one to the other one. And then these things here, these are tweaks. Those are the ones that you want to move to the tweak layer for sure. So I, I think I'm going to do it like this. Then the fingers, we don't want to be turning on and off fingers separately. The fingers should appear with the, with the arms no matter what. These ones are tweaks, so they should go on a tweak layer with all, with all the rest of the tweaks. When we got IKFK, here we cannot do much. Uh, the way the rig is built doesn't do it automatically. To me, we would have arm left, arm right, leg left, left, right. When you switch from IK to FK, 
it would just turn on one and turn off the other one and we wouldn't need to change layers but it's not built like that and then arm tweaks same thing tweak layer and so on i think i think that's that's a good plan and then coloring wise we're gonna basically maintain the same colors we're gonna make them a little bit more poppy but we're gonna reorganize the color so we we're gonna have this is left right so this is gonna be red and this is gonna be blue this is like this blue and then the center is gonna be yellow and then we're gonna get tweaks in say green and then what are we missing the extras in some kind of purple we or orange 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 and the purple stays for the root and that's fine so yeah let's do this <sighs> let's do this first of all we're gonna go and select the meta rig we're gonna turn off our, our rig layer for now and i'm gonna show you what this entails i'm going to select the rig i'm going to go to post mode because in post mode we have the the rig types and as you remember the rig ty types are really important because they define some properties and along with those properties they also say where are going to be the layers for the secondary bones that are going to be created so if the arm has fk and ik like it says here you will get the arm that you already put in one layer which is going to be the ik original then it will create the fk chain and we'll put it in this layer that it's mentioned here and then the tweaks that it's doing it's also going to put it in some other layer and so this way we can tell it right away where every single part needs to go so first step, if we're going to go back to our armature and we're going to uncover these two things. So we got bone groups and then bone groups. Yeah, those are the rigify go bone groups, which is good. And the rigify layer. So first of all, we're going to modify the bone groups towards what we said. So root and then we're going to call this left, center, right tweaks and we have one more and we got the extras there so we're going to make them more saturated so we can actually see them properly so i'm just going to go into each color and then I'll go saturation and value that way the colors that we'll get will pop much more from the screen than what we have and then we're going to separate these two a little bit more this is the active bone and the uh, selected but not active so i'm going to make this a little bit more cyan and this is going to be like white and that and then we need to apply this to all of them so apply and now they get it that's fantastic we leave that untouched for now and then we go to our layers <laughs> the layers are basically a representation of these layers and the order is like this 1 to 16 1 to 16 and then 17 till 32 17 till 32 and so we need to put the bones in the layers that we want them to be as a base so first of all we're gonna rename the layers towards the ones that we said that we wanted to have so we're going to have face and then nothing arm l and then arm r and then torso and then goodbye 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 and then leg l leg l leg r leg r and then goodbye 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 um, by the way i'm hovering and hitting backspace and then we'll go tweak extras uh do we need something else i don't think we do now we got face arms torso legs tweaks extras and then the root and then the other and then we're going to click and drag and just now when you release you can press zero and then they're all zero and same thing with these guys here click and drag zero enter done now we're going to reorganize our rig and first of all the face we want it to be color yellow so we're going to look here in the bone group which is related to this so the face the center is three so three and everything that goes in the center is three so center center and that's it and then we want to go left number two then those are the colors that we're going to assign to each layer now we need to move the bones to the appropriate layers so i'm just going to turn on all these layers by holding shift and clicking all of them and then these guys should go to layer number two because we're gonna we're gonna assume they're all ik and then the fk gets created so that makes it easier to think about them so these ones go to layer so these ones go to layer two there there you go these ones go to layer four one two three four
Now, if I turn them on and off, face, arm, the other arm, nothing, which is good. R, other arm, torso, leg IK, leg IK, twigs, which don't exist yet, and extras, which don't exist yet. And of course, we didn't put anything do anything here as you can see ui row is uh, the order by what we did they should pr probably be all in the one line so basically it's telling it how they're gonna be uh, in in which row they're going to be so we if we, you put two in the same row it's gonna put one and then the second one and whichever one comes first in order of layer it will go in the left side and then from left to right so we're going to do this one in lam in number one this one should be number two and r should be number two and then fk should be number three and then this one should be number three so now you get it like you get left right ik and then left right fk we're getting there it's it's getting super close now we need to go to the rig types i'm going to delete this guy here annotations goodbye we need to go to the rig types and tell the rig types which are the tweak layers and the fk layers instead of just going around i'm just gonna create another panel here select the bone and remember to see the rigify type panel you need to be in post mode and and obviously in the in the bone that has the property so for instance the left arm uh which is this the one the upper left arm the one that i have selected right now its bones are in this layer which is layer number two and then this one it's going to create the fk bones and we want those in layer number three I'm going to go down here and go fk and tell it there and the tweak layers we know it's layer number 11 so we're gonna go 8 9 10 11 so we know every tweak tweak bone one we wanted to go into this layer. so i'm going to go one by one while the the video goes faster Okay, uh, that should be uh, all the assignments of the bone layers correctly. We're only missing one thing, is that when we turn on and off the arms, we want the finger bones to stay in both IK and FK. And so for that, we're just going to unselect everything else, keep only selected the fingers, uh, not the hand palm control, but only the fingers. We're going to press M, or we can just go here in the in the bones themselves, in the bend relations, I think it is, yeah. And we know that they are right now in number two, but we want them to be number two and number three at the same time. So if any of both layers are on, the fingers should be showing. And to do that, we can shift click here and we'll add it. And then right click, copy all to select it. And so that means that every single one of these bones is there. Same on the other side. And we need to select an active one and then we want them in both layers, that one, uh, four and five, four and five. And so you could do M here and then shift click and then that will be for both for all of them and that works. Let's do it again. Let's remember to turn on the rig and now let's generate the rig again. There we go. So now we got a nicely ordered set of layers, right? This is very cool. Uh, where is the rig? Okay, there we go. So we're gonna hide our meta rig so it doesn't bother us. And then I'm going to turn that subdivision level down so everything is fast and nice. So we got face, we got arms, we got torso, we got legs, we got tweaks, and we got the root. Fantastic. We go into the edit and to post mode, and you see we can we have all of these guys, and mostly honestly. Why do I want to differentiate with the colors uh, IK from FK? You don't need that because it's either going to be one or the other one. And also, since we have the snaps, you really don't need to differentiate them. So cool stuff. So now we have our really nice armature. You can see if I turn the, the basics of the face, the face. Now we actually can pose the minimum of the face and get an idea of what that face is going to be doing. Um, 
otherwise we just turn it off, right? Cool. So as a final step, we want to modify some of these shapes. And basically these shapes are geometries that are lying around in the scene and they're just hidden so we don't see them. But it's really easy to go and edit them. Um, Rigify does a really good job and they, it puts it in the same organization that the, the armature. So I'm going to hide our rig and I'm going to go here where it says widgets and to turn this on it's quite hidden you just have to go here and go to this little guy and now we get that little screen and now when I turn on that screen you can see we have like a black and white version of all of those shapes some of them are floating right now for some reason um, but the ones that we care about they're all in place and they're all with black lines that are barely readable thank you theme anyways i'm going to try to make them as decent as possible so i'm going to change the head as i said before i'm going to go to edit mode i'm going to select shift s and with the cursor to select it put the cursor there I'm going to delete this and create a cube i'm going to scale the cube down to that position lower it and then look from it from the side, press X and delete only the faces. And then I'm going to get this. I'm gonna change again to vertices. I'm gonna turn on X-ray so I can grab them all for sure. Move them back a little bit and then it looks like a proper thing. I'm gonna scale it from the sides so it's a bit nicer. It gives us uh, an idea of direction of where the character is actually looking at. So I'm just going to do that here too. X and then uh, again from the right, so it's kind of like an a, like a little bit of an arrow it will inform our brains a little bit of uh, where the character is is going it's pointing to When you finally get to something that you're happy with, you can be call it done and then go back. So we go to a rig, turn again your rig on, select it. You're gonna see that your shapes are already part of the rig and it's because of this live connection all the time between those shapes and the rig. And it's funny because they're live, but if you delete them, it's not a problem. They still stay stored in the file with the rig. So yeah, now I got all of the controllers uh, that I need. Yeah, I can turn off the face and I'm ready to start my blocking. We're gonna call this done. If you have more questions, bring them to me. I know I owe somebody adding an extra piece to the rig, but we'll leave that for a specific video on that. So I hope that it wasn't too boring and that you get some of our t-shirts. Remember to like and subscribe and see me next time. Thank you.